we greet our dear andunulapam readers in the mighty name of the lord jesus it's 20th of october the friday year 2023 today let's meditate on the topic wisdom will preserve do not forsake wisdom and she will preserve you love her and she will keep you from the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 6 solomon says love wisdom and she will preserve you the deeper meaning of this saying is love the lord who is the wisdom love him at all times and under all circumstances he is the fountain of all wisdom he is the origin and source of all wisdom come unto him and be filled with true wisdom solomon was the younger son of david the word solomon means son of peace although david named him as solomon prophet nathan named him as jeridaya the beloved of the lord solomon was called as the beloved of the lord says that we should love the lord from the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 6 his important counsel is that we do not forsake wisdom and it will preserve us there are many who are not very clear about wisdom and knowledge knowledge is something you gather from the books you read and through your interactions with learned people but wisdom is the talent to apply that knowledge for a specific situation or circumstance knowledge is gained by learning at colleges and universities but wisdom is the essence of all your learning and the ability to apply them to real life situations education is different from excelling in wisdom if you need to excel in wisdom then you should love the lord who is the fountain head of all wisdom you should seek him all the more and cling to him The wisdom of God is far greater than all the worldly wisdom. Knowledge comes through education, but wisdom is a great gift of God. Only when you fear the Lord, the wisdom starts operating in your life. The scripture says, "Those who seek the Lord understand all." From the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 5. Much before this counsel of Solomon, His father David already recorded the same idea and said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding having all those who do his commandments his praise and yours forever from the book of psalm chapter 111 verse 10 children of god ask for the gift of wisdom from the lord and to fill you with this word of wisdom and mighty deeds that no one can contradict or resist verse so for the meditation from the book of ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 26 for god gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight but to the sinner he gives the work of gathering and collecting that he may give to him who is good before god today's Bible reading meditation for morning from the book of Isaiah chapter 59 60 and chapter 61 Bible reading for the evening from the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 